Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going for a summer themed card and I will be using this waffle flower stamp set which is called So Cool. There are also matching dies and I'm going to go ahead and stamp uh, some of the images from this stamp set. I'm going to work on a piece of white cardstock and I'm using my mister to stamp everything. Also notice that I'm using uh, Toxido Black Ink by Memento just because I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color everything. And since I was using my Misty, I did uh, went ahead and stamped uh, a couple of times the images just to get a perfect and crisp impression. I'm using my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers for coloring my images and you can see on screen all the colors that I used. And as you can see, I'm going with a classic uh, way of coloring with alcohol markers. So I'm using three different shades, a light, a medium and a darker one. And I'm adding the darker one mainly at uh, the bottom of my bear. And as I go to the top, I'm lightening up the color. Now I am going to color his uh, swimming suit and uh, again I am uh, going with three different shades. This time I'm using my oranges and you can see the colors I used at the bottom of my screen. I, again I am going darker at the bottom and lighter as I go to the top of his body. And once I color all the images with my alcohol markers I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. So this is my big shot and I'm going to run everything through the machine which is going to cut out everything leaving a white border all around them. Of course if you don't want the border or if you don't have the matching dies you can use your scissors to cut them out. I always like to cut out my images because this gives me the ability to pop them out and give some dimension on my cards. Now I have all my pieces ready to go and you can see that I used the die to cut out these two white waves. And now I'm going to work on this uh, blue uh, cardstock. I also have a darker blue and a craft colored uh, paper. So I'm going to place one on top of the other and this is going to, although these are actually rectangles, when I stick one on top of the other, you will see that um, um, ocean scene magically appears. So this is going to be the sand on top of the sea and that is going to go on top of my sky. I'm using my ATG gun to add some tape adhesive at the back of all these panels. So my scene is pretty much ready. Just to make it more uh, realistic I'm going to add the waves just where the sand meets with the sea. I'm using my Nuvo glue pen to add some uh, glue at the back of my waves. And now I can stick them on top of my card. Now I actually don't care if uh, those two waves don't meet at the center because this is going to be covered up with the rest of the images. You will see what I mean in a bit. I'm using my scissors to cut off the excess paper from those uh, waves and now I can go ahead and stick all the rest of the images on top of my little scene. First I'm going to stick down the towel and uh, the towel is going to go directly on top of my scene by using some tape adhesive at the back so it's totally flat there. But for the bear I'm going to add some foam squares at the back which is going to allow me to add some dimension. And on top of his belly I'm going to add his drink again with a foam square at the back. Now of course you can go ahead and uh, build up your scene even more by adding a palm tree coming from one side or maybe uh, clouds but uh, I want to keep uh, my design clean and simple with nothing at the sky. So now I'm using a black gel pen to add some shine on his glasses. And uh, now it's time to, to stamp the sentiment. For the sentiment I'm going with the same stamp set. There is one that says uh, stay cool that matches perfectly my card. And I'm going to stamp that with uh, black ink at the very bottom of my card. Just over the sand there. Making sure that I stamp everything correctly since I haven't used my Misty for that. And uh, now I will uh, go ahead and stick this panel on top of a standard card that's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. It's just a white uh, made out of white cardstock and it's a top folding card. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today. 
Don't forget that you can find the full list of all the suppliers used today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos that I created a while back. Thank you all for watching and see you next time!